Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir. Sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. Gentlemen, gather round, gather round. My friends, are you ready to change your lives forever? Friends, hardworking souls of uh, plain view, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, swelling. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody, get that thing back! St. Homobonus is not looking down on me favorably. Oops! Homobonus, the patron saint of businessmen. I'd say you need your just dessert. No, probably not. Those in basement clearly informed of my refund policy. You can only shit off people for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pan. A crude metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You need the business to me, do I try to tell you how to Robin Banks felt more honest than this. You ain't gonna leave here walking, friend! That's it! One less moron to worry about! Respect science! Popular. 
I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. Taylor, I'm not sure we're out of the woods yet. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science, Scott. How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. Good shot! My dear boy, you saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, uh, perhaps we should shelve the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <sighs> Mr. West Dickens. Ah, Mr. Marston. How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Very nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John. It's not too far to Rathskeller Fork. Come. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards. 
I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Reach, Plainview. We made quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. There's Rascaller Fork up ahead. Quite a crowd forming. This could be a big payday. Come on. Not a particularly hit. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding. Neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight, or bleed heavily, or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Go. Yeah.
king, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? 